Hey, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Mechah, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who have taught us this truth through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Ashai, and honors and salutations to the elect. And once again, all praises and glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. So this is going to be a real quick lesson, man. I want to entitle this. Uh, pro Jacob's trouble. You know, you got a uh, here in politics, you got a lot of things. They say, "What do you are you a uh, pro abortion or are you pro uh, pro choice?" Right, and then uh, you say, "Oh, I'm pro this," meaning are you for it, or are you for the are you for this side or are you for that side? Well, hey, I'm pro Jacob's trouble, man. I'm for. Jacob show man, I'm all for it through the spirit and power Yahweh by Shema Shai. And um oh let me get some scriptures here because you know our, our people is just totally they off the hook, man. I had a I had I had like two scriptures in mind. Uh I, but um I just lost it. Lord when it comes back, but I do always have this on my mind when it comes to our people. This is Jeremiah 5 and 28. It says, They are waxing fat. They shine. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. So, two-thirds of our people has overpassed the deeds of the wicked, man. Who's the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4. Esau, Edom. All right? Which, when you uh, 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 understand the Bible, you understand that Esau and Edom is a so-called white man. And then when you just link up their track record and how they act and how they behave, you can see that they, yeah, yeah, that is the wicked. But guess what? Two thirds of our people is outdoing them in wickedness, man. I I mean it's just ridiculous. Like I was watching a uh, a uh, uh, apostle, uh, Salaki, the elder of uh, Manatazak, but down there in uh, South Carolina, the last thing he threw up. You got a guy going around asking women, asking our woman, what would you rather, a drug dealer or a doctor? Now, regardless, well, and most of them are saying, uh, 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 uh. I want like a drug deal. You know, they always do that, that freaking chant, that freaking nigga woman chant, man. And then they start twerking. I don't know. Like, it's crazy, man. And that's why these things are coming. Oh, the scripture just came back to my head. And they all, they all, they all, um, like every, like almost every single one of them talking about how they want, they were rather a drug dealer. They like thug niggas. They like a uh, uh, so-called bad boys, you know, and like you want you want a bad boy, that's cool, but be a bad boy in righteousness, okay? Be a bad boy in righteousness, you know. But when it comes to wickedness, is which is what they're referring to. That is that's not cute. That's not cool. But remember, things is turned upside down. The bad boys, they're the uh, honorable men, the drug dealers and the uh, 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 the murderers, the thieves. They're the honorable men. You know? Not the uh, uh, men of the Lord putting their lives on the line, trying to bring back and uplift our nation, doing their part to do so as of commanded by us by Yahweh Hashem Shai. No, no, it's it's... It's the it's the pants sagging, weed smoking niggas, you know, because why the things are turned upside down, you know, the, the wicked is in power. Esau eat them. When you look at uh, uh, the music videos and stuff like that, he, he, he sets up these music videos pretty much. Well, he let them off the leash and allowed them to do their own thing now. And you see who got all the money and the girl and the woman and the clothes. These wicked niggas. So this is, uh, uh, so you know, now a woman want to flock to that. You know, our people was very extremely wicked, and and I highly also believe, and I see, walking amongst them, I see, like yo, y'all, y'all, y'all definitely need an ass whooping. This is First Corinthians eleven and thirty two from the Lord. It says, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. That's right. These are the uh, uh, the men of the Lord, man. We get chastened of the Lord. 
The Lord loves us. When we go off, right, we may slip up and make a mistake. The scriptures say, adjust man falls seven times and get us back up. The Lord kind of uh, pops us. He gets us quick. You know, he kind of, it's like he kind of gives us a pop. And then we, what well, we're sorrowful and we repent, you know, we get back on track. And, and the reason why the Lord does that, it says so that, that we should not be condemned with the world. Because if the Lord didn't chastise us and give us a chance to repent, then guess what? We're going to get condemned. We're going to get judged with the world. You know, which is you niggas, you know, you people out there. And when you get, and when, when the Lord comes down and judge you people, oh man. Oh man, bro. Because the Lord is getting ready to tear you people up, bro. And I'm for it, man. I'm pro Jacob Shovel, man. I I see that you walking amongst your people. I see that you need it. I see that you need a great humbling. Right? So this is um Jeremiah so like Jeremiah 30 and uh 6. It says, matter of fact, let me come back to this real quick, real quick. And let me get uh uh Oh, wow. The other scripture just came to my mind, too. So let me get that real quick. Revelations 2 and 2, the words of Yahweh Shai. He says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience. And we are having patience and we are going to be rewarded for our patience, man. We do been doing videos every day, man. At least three shows a week. We be going out on the highways and byways. Once a week, man, we've been doing sit downs. That's all part of the patience, man. We've been repenting, following all such crimes to the best of our ability. We've been praying, we've been fasting. That's all part of the patience and waiting of Yahweh Shem Shai to come and destroy this place, man. With our people in it. Because remember, the scriptures say, you know, they that's joined up to them shall be thrust through. And Yahweh Shai even said that they are their father, the devil, the way these niggas be acting out here, man. Like, it's, 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 it is insane, man. I can only imagine how the Lord feels, man. You know, his people worshiping other gods, his people turning into moles, his people, like, it's crazy. It says, and how they can't, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience. And now thou canst not bear them which are evil. See? See that, man? See? Yahweh Shai himself said that. He said he, said he know that we can't stand them. Because we can't stand John, man. It says, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles. And are not and has found them liars. Right. And that's you going into a, you false you false teachers out here, man. You guys are all liars. You're not true men of the Lord. All right, but that's another story. All right, so let me get that other scripture, man. Everybody got this stupid opinion. You know, it's it is so much wickedness out here, it's ridiculous, man. The abortions going on, the moles, the adultery, the pride, like people thinking that, like, especially the pride. Second of just eight and fifty. Well, especially all of it. Salaki, Salaki. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. See? These people are prideful out here, man. It pays to be humble. It pays to be lowly. It pays to, to have wisdom. It pays to uh, 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 pray to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And we're going to see that. We are going to live that and we're going to see that, man. All these works we're doing, it's going to pay off. And we're actually about to live that out, man. I full wholeheartedly believe it's going to pay off, man. I know it's going to pay off. I know it's going to pay off, man. Because the scripture said it was going to pay off. Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, 
which ye have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So the Lord isn't going to forget our works. He ain't going to forget our pages. Sure, I'm on GMS this time too. He ain't going to forget all the works I did on the first uh, GMS at time. Use myself for an example. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Apostle Rome Live on uh, DocuTube 12. Okay, I believe with the 13 on hold. He ain't going to forget all the other ones. All the work we put into this, true. On and off camera. On and off camera, man. All the fast. All the fasting, all the praying. He ain't going to forget that. When? When it comes down to uh, 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 to, J to Jacob's trouble, man. And I might as well end it off on that. Jeremiah, back in Jeremiah 30 and 5. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. That's what's coming. And I'm for this. I'm for this, man. In all honesty, man. Because it disgusts me. It disgusts me with, with these people's wickedness and their pride. These niggas out here, man, they put a pair of Jordans on. And they think they're the man. You know, don't let the clothes, like they say, don't let the clothes wear you. You wear the clothes. Like, I, I got Jordans, you know. I got Jordans myself. That, now, that doesn't mean I'm going to act like I'm uh, uh, act like I'm like Mike out here, man. But a lot of people let the clothes wear them. Yeah, you know, I mentioned that because I just remember this freaking... Damn, Goop, he had to have been a Jake Goop with, with Jordans on, grilling me for no reason, looking at me in the corner of his eye. I said, what, man? But that's for Salaki, man. Well, you know, you know, but that's pride. That's the pride. Like, what, what are you doing? So this is verse 6. It says, actually now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. I'm for this, man. On two thirds of our people. And Yohanna. That's how, that's how you know he never had it. So like, I just got to say, because real quick, because I'm just thinking about how he said, and they hate their own people. They hate their own people. Yeah, well, guess what? The Lord hates his own two thirds of his own people right now. He said they're like smoke in his nose. That's not a good feeling. He said he's angry with them every day. He's going to cut two thirds of them off. He's pissed off at two thirds of them right now. And so are we. Because they too much. They off the chain right now. Verse 7, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? And we fully see why. Think of all the abortions. Think of all the moles. Think of all the adulterers. Think of all these prideful niggas out here. Think of just all the, all the wickedness that goes on here, man. The coons. This place is filled with demonic activity. So when this thing goes down, I'm for it. The woman out here jumping from man to man to man to man. Look at your TV shows. Look what's going on in the TV shows. Adultery, which imitates life. Right? Well, this I forgot how you say it. Imitates like it imitates life. You got a woman pregnant, don't know who's the baby daddy. It could be him. But then I was 
but also I was with him on um this day and then uh trying to do the math to see who's the baby daddy and shit, man. Man. And you can't act like you ain't know. Because the men of the Lord was out there. The scriptures say, um, man, the gospel went around all the earth. So you can't act like you didn't know the the right the right way. Because we were out there telling you of your wickedness, telling you to repent. You can't say, oh, but I didn't know. Yes, you did. So, you know, I need to I need to lock lock in this topic in my head because the scriptures say knowledge of wisdom shall be the stability at our times. So the more, you know, you can marinate upon a scripture, the more you're gonna we're gonna be able to utilize it in that day. And this scripture, Lord willing, will be in my head so that I don't feel sorry for you niggas when it goes down. And I know I won't. But I'll say Lord willing. Okay. So this is uh, Proverbs 1 and 24. Because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regard it. But ye have said I not on my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. All that twerking gonna be out the window. All that uh 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 hey, hey, hey. shut the f all that all that's gonna be out the window. All that pride for all y'all, it's gonna be out the window, bro. You're gonna wish you was humble, you're gonna wish you got down with it, but it's gonna be too late. It's going to be too late. And of course, you can read the rest with that. I'm going to say Shalom.